Okay, now we're going to make um, this delicious fish curry. Yes. Please talk me through the ingredients that we have again. A lovely so array of ingredients before again. Before we start cooking, we're mm. going to have to marinate the okay. fish, which is uh, what we have now is a basa fish. And we have this... Um, basa fish. Okay. So it's a light texture fish, and mm. but also a bit firm. Mm. Uh, we, we get it in, the, um, in England, in the UK yes. now. So it's quite it's more um, common now. Common now. Wow. Puree. It's going to be the marinade of the fish. It's just a blanched oh. chili. From where did you say yes. the fresh fresh chili? So it's a fresh chili blanched. Mm -hmm. So uh, cook in a bit of water and then a uh, puree with oil. And it came from Shan State, ah, which okay. is one of the states in Myanmar. Of course, yes. It, and it's uh, quite close to the mountains. They, they got really good vegetable produce as well. Excellent. And then you put it. Put it just on the fish and marinate it. Okay. Beautiful, intense oh, colours. Color. I yes. know, it's amazing. So red. It's like uh, having a paprika powder. That yeah. Homemade. It is a colour of paprika, yes. isn't it? Yeah. Peanut Ubiquitous oil peanut oil. Cheese for everything, huh? Yes. And then we start again with um, the base of everything. So onion. And just a bit of a little bit of garlic. Half a teaspoon. Okay. Ginger. Mm-hmm. And just take that off. Mm -hmm. Just fry it off again. Yes. Amazing. Just I just love the smell of fried garlic and onions. <laughs> We're just gonna fry it just for a few seconds, yes. minutes until so it's nice and fragrant. Minutes, yes. yes. Then we're gonna start with the uh, chili. Okay. Chili powder. Chili please. powder, a bit of salt inside. So okay, chili powder. Dried chili, a bit of salt. Of course uh turmeric. Of course, yes, a little bit of turmeric. It's right down. I like this down. And a bit Chili. of ground black pepper. Ah, ground black pepper. So it's a different note. Yeah. Just a more intensified. Yeah. Mmm. You pepper quite a lot. Mmm. I can smell that. It's coming through now. That's delicious. So what next? And then mm. we add the uh, tomato. Tomato, fresh tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes. You have yeah. tomatoes here in, in, in yes. Myanmar, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it comes from Shan State again. Oh, from the Shan State. Yes. Seems to be a lot of uh, vegetables and fruits grown there. Yes, it's a very, um, very nice uh, weather to grow a lot of um, ingredients, fresh produce. I mm -hmm. think this also very fertile. Um, it must be good soil. Uh. Good soil, yes. Yes. Oh, nice. So now okay. we sauté, we put the tomato, mm, so this is the tomato gravy. Okay, yeah. so it's the ginger, the ginger, garlic, shallots and tomato, a little bit of turmeric and a little bit of chilli. Yes. You're just frying it off okay. into a nice paste. Oh, that Yellow smells orange. so good. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to this. Okay, now great. it's ready, we can put... That delicious fish in. Oh, fish. that's been marinating in the chilli spice. Oh, yes. they're just chilli paste, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Look at that vibrant red colour. Look at the nice, yeah. enticing colour. And you're just going to fry that off yeah. as well. Fantastic. So usually uh, the Myanmar curry is uh, quite dry. Mm. But I like to, to encase more. So I'm going to add a bit of fish stock. Nice, yes, uh, excellent. And then we can simmer it up. A little bit of sauce yes. there. It could go really nicely with the rice. How we yes. serve that with some rice, yeah? Yes, always with the rice. Always with rice. Delicious. Bring Absolutely. it to a boil and see it up. I can't wait to try it. Waiting for the fish, yes. yeah, um, to cook. Uh, I can't wait for that. It looks amazing. Uh, we're going to do our last and final dish. Yes. And can I just say thank you very much, Chef Carl. Let's, Let's see go. Let's vegetable. So okay. what we're going to yeah. do is we start with the oil. Can add vegetable oil or peanut oil? Mm. Smoky. Yep. Yeah. Smoky. I don't think we need any heat today, huh? Get your onion. The usual, the usual ingredients again. Always the base. Always the base. Carrot. Oh, good idea. That's good. Woody mushroom. Tofu skin. Potato for a bit. Uh huh. And Did you say tofu skin? Yeah. yeah. Tofu okay. Skin. Mushroom. So we got three types of cabbage inside. Mm -hmm. Great. This is very much like um, the Chinese um, influence in yes. the Myanmar cuisine, yes. yeah? The diversity of the, the food we have here. And this is more Chinese. But again, very simple. Yes. Very simple ingredients. With some bok choy. Bok choy. 
with some noodles. Yeah. Some rice noodles. Is it just vermicelli rice yes. noodles? Yeah. It has been soaked in water. Okay. And a bit of uh, beef stock. Wow. Okay. Fantastic. Super quick. And um, very simple. Very, very simple. Vegetable stock. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just to give it a bit of a moist. Mm -hmm. You can hear that sizzle. Oh, that smells so good as well. Yeah. Can I just say, it's, it's, it's just simple vegetables and salads and, you know, cabbages, but the smell is... And then just to flavor it up, a bit of salt, some salt, and some black pepper. A bit of butter. That's it, simple. That's it. Oh, excellent. I don't know if it's the vegetables from here or something, but it smells really great. Oh, just in time for the fish. Fantastic. Let's have a look. Wow, that is looking so good. This is the, um, what we call sibian, no? When the oil is starting to return uh, from, from, the, from, from, from the pot. So a little bit of the moisture has evaporated yes. away. And you can see, and you can see it separate a little bit. And it's just right. going to be super delicious when it gets to that yes. stage. And we're ready to eat. Excellent. Thank you so much. <laughs>